The ISS National Lab is the 50% of the U.S. capability of the International Space Station, which is roughly 40% of the capability of the entire international partnership. We have a broad mission. We want to change the world uh, using the International Space Station. The good news is NASA provides a great value proposition for this ne next decade. The transportation to the non-traditional users is free, so it makes a great value to utilize the space station with people on board. You can put lower technology uh, projects up, uh, up in space because you don't have to design quad redundancy in some cases to advance your technologies and test them. And we have many problems to solve on the International Space Station that will promote space exploration. And there are players on the uh, ISS National Lab, including Human Research Program and others, that are working closely on, for example, astronaut health and how they can solve some of the radiation, long duration, osteoporosis, muscle wasting type problems that astronauts experience uh, in long duration space flight. Now the ISS National Lab is diversifying into the physical sciences. It's a wonderful um, opportunity and, uh, and a great place in history that we live. My optimum use of ISS would be where both traditional and new aerospace within the United States recognize that ISS is a laboratory for, for their use. That um, your R&D dollars could potentially go to ISS for exploiting the fact that it's there. We set up system maturation teams across the agency to ensure that we could help ourselves choose the right technologies going forward, to evaluate the things coming forward from industry, and figure out uh, what the right things are to, uh, to fly to ISS. So if you wanted to participate, how do you do that? Just give us a call. It's honestly set up to be as convenient as possible for you. And, and we'll get the ball rolling for you as to what things you need to be considering, the likelihood of us being able to partner with you potentially. It doesn't matter which door you, you enter through, it's all the same space station, but we're gonna do what we can to, to get you there uh, as easily as possible. There's never been a better time or place to do research in space, that's, that's, that's the short of it. The requirements for you to fly to ISS can be boiled down to two. Uh, don't hurt the crew and don't hurt the vehicle. NASA and ISS have provided nearly everything for you to do your experiment. You get up mass, down mass, power, thermal, commanding, data down. The crew is there for you. There's robotics if you need it. There's pressurized locations. There's unpressurized locations outside. Those, those locations can view in any direction that you want. And we'll even deploy you off of ISS if, um, if that's really what you need. And then, when ISS is done, we'll be able to look at all the technology that we've proven out and go to whoever's making the decisions at the current time and say, we have 60 build-to-print systems that we can put together, and that breeds the confidence in decision makers to go ahead and execute these missions that will then purchase these technologies from American companies and get Americans, probably with an international partnership, to other heavenly bodies. And getting everybody participating in the specific missions that got you excited enough to get into this business in the first place.